you wish and it will be given to you praise the lord Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We will join the choir today to sing and praise and worship the Lord because he is the almighty God. Let us join and praise him and worship him. The Lord of hosts. Your love is amazing, steady and unchanging. Your love is a mountain, come beneath my feet. Your love is a mystery, how you gently lift me. When I am surrounded, your love carries me. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. hallelujah. Your love makes me see. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah you love makes me sing Hallelujah 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 you love makes me sing Hallelujah 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 Let us praise and worship the Lord Hallelujah 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 Glory 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 Oh Jesus Hallelujah we praise and glorify you We adore and worship you Hallelujah You love makes me see Yes you makes me see How you make me see Yes you makes me see Let us surrender ourselves totally and fully to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit be with us as we attend this program. Let us all be filled with your love and your joy. Let us receive the beautiful prayer taught by Jesus. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be the world without end amen Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today one of the main accusations against Catholic Church by the different Christian denominations and people who are against Catholic Church is that Christians especially the Catholics they do worship the idols. This is one of the prominent accusation against catholic church and even today many catholics also are confused about this question because we read in the bible that god is always warning the people of god that you should shall never worship idols and in the catholic church if we go to the churches the number of statues that we see is kept in the churches the thousands and thousands of saints in the catholic church 
and we kneel before them we kneel and uh, the catholics do offerings to them and therefore many of the people are confused and many say that catholic church goes against the first commandment praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah the brothers and sisters during this time let us try to have a, an understanding of what is the practices that we see in the catholic church in fact in the catholic church we never worship any saints or any idols hallelujah 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 then why we have kept these statues in our churches we give only honor and respect and veneration to the saints we never give worship to the saints they are honored and they are remembered and they are given respect because they are models for us and by their lives and when the church believes strongly that they are in heaven with god church raises them up to the level of saints and they are kept for us as a model as a person who can be the intercessors hallelujah hallelujah it is true that the word of god in the old testament very clearly and correctly say that you shall not worship the idols let us come to the book of leviticus chapter 20 verse 6 if a person turns to the mediums and wizards playing the harlot after them i will set my face against that person and will cut him off from among his people hallelujah hallelujah the word of god says a person who goes after these idols and who worship such things will be cut off from my people again when we come to the book of deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 14 you shall not go after other gods of the gods of the peoples who are round about you yeah there may be so many people who are around you worshiping many other gods you shall not go after them again for the lord your god in the midst of you is a jealous god lest the anger of the lord your god be kindled against you and he destroy you from off the face of the earth hallelujah, hallelujah. the word of god is telling that if you go after some any other gods i will destroy you from the face of the earth such is the strong words that is said by the word of god again we know that when we come into the book of exodus chapter 20 this is the chapter in which jesus gave the commandments to moses writing with his own finger and jesus gave this commandments to moses and the first commandment is very clearly depicted in this way chapter 20 verse 1 to and the following let us listen to that and god spoke all these words saying i am the lord your god who brought you out of the land of egypt out of the house of bondage you shall have no other gods before me you shall have no other gods before me you shall not make for yourself a graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth hallelujah hallelujah and this is the commandment that jesus god is giving to the people and this is the strong commandment now those people who say that catholic church worship idols the brothers and sisters they always connect this sentence or this word of god and argue that catholics are idol worshipers the brothers and sisters when we come into the bible when we see god himself telling that when a temple is built god is telling to solomon that he should keep certain images in the in the temple itself hallelujah hallelujah if god is all, all deadly against any of these things why he should say all these things to, to solomon we see in the book of uh, first kings chapter 6 to chapter 9 we see god is instructing solomon how to build the temple of god and god wants the temple to be adorned with images and flowers like things like that when we come into the first king 
chapter 7 verse 27 to 29 we see how God gives the instruction. Let us listen to that. He also made the ten stands of bronze. Each stand was four cubits long, four cubits wide and three cubits high. This was the construction of the stands. They had panels and the panels were set in the frames. And on the panels that were set in the frames were lions, oxen and cherubim. Upon the frames, both above and below the lions and oxen, there were wreaths of bewildered work. Hallelujah. 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 See what happened. Here, the God is giving the instruction to build and construct the temple. And in the very same temple, God is asking them to put the image of lion, oxen and cherubim. And these are to be kept there under the under the stand, God is asking to keep 12 uh, images of oxen. So what does it mean? You know, what is Kerubim? Kerubim is a, a group of angels. That is what we see in the Bible. So what does it mean? God himself is asking Solomon to keep the images in the altar. So if God is against idols and if God is against idol worship, why he should ask them to uh, put the images in the altar? Hallelujah. 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 Again, when we come into the book of Numbers, we see the book of Numbers chapter 21 one verse, we see that when the Israelites did sin against uh, God, many of them were died because of the bite of a serpent. Then what does the God says? God says, okay, do one thing. You construct a, a, a serpent that is made out of brass. And all those people who look at this serpent will be saved. We we'll listen to that in the verse 9. So Moses made a bronze serpent and set it up as a sign. And if a serpent bit any man, he would look at the bronze serpent and live. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, God, one place we see that God is absolutely going against his idols. At the very same time, we see that God is himself is asking to make the, uh, uh, the image of a serpent in brass. And all those who looked at the serpent were uh, given back the life once again. Hallelujah. 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 Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, we should have a clear understanding of this idol worship. When, what is really the idol worship? Idol worship is that we keep something, something or somebody instead of God. If you keep somebody in the place of God, as your God and your only, uh, only power, there the idol worship comes. For example, when we come to the book of Exodus, we see chapter, in chapter 32, the people make a golden ox and they worship them saying that this is the God who has brought us from the land of Pharaoh, from the land of Egypt. And what they did? They put the God and gave the glory to this golden ox instead of giving the glory to the Lord our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the idol worship. Let us listen to that in Exodus chapter 32 verse 3 and 6, 3 to 6. So all the people took off the rings of gold which were in their ears and brought them to Aaron. And he received the gold at their hand and fashioned it with a graving tool and made a molten calf. And they said, These are your gods, O Israel, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. Hallelujah. 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 So, what happened? They are now worshipping this oxen as the Lord who saved us from the hands of uh, Pharaoh. And what they did? The glory that they had to give to God, they just gave to a, an animal. And this is what is really the idolatry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keeping a, a statue of a saint in our church is not idol worship. We never give any worship to them. But by seeing this image, our hearts are raised up to God to thank the Lord and bless the Lord. And we know people are so much interested when we see a symbol. We feel the at attachment to the persons or the, pe the people or place. You know, if you keep 
a, an image or a picture of your parents in front of you. You feel, get, you get the, uh, the thoughts of them very fast. In the very same way, when we keep, give a, keep a crucifix, dear brothers and sisters, we are not worshipping the crucifix as such, but we worship the Lord who died for us. And he, all these images and all these statues are just a medium to bring our hearts and minds to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we give the worship only to God our Savior, not, not to anybody else. And therefore, please make sure that by bowing or by joining hands together in front of a statue, it is not idol worship. We are not worshipping them. But we thank the Lord for giving such a person. And that person is an image for us to think that God can do wonders. You, he can make you and me a, a saint today or tomorrow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And therefore, they are the just mediums that make the human mind to raise up to heaven. And that must be the attitude that we should have. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, if you have anything wrong idea about uh, worshipping uh, or the uh, idol worship that the practices take place in the Catholic Church, be sure that you are not in the right track. The understanding is different. Idol worship is giving first priority to something else other than God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She can become a person. Sometimes your beauty, if the wealth, if it does become a, a, a first place in your heart, it can become an idol for you. The job has become an important priority in your life, it can become an idol to you. So therefore, idolatry is in the heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not giving respect to a saint or going and kneeling down before a crucifix is not idolatry. When we kneel before the crucifix, let us be able to think and about Jesus who died for us on the cross. And the seeing this cross, we feel that God has suffered a lot and his love, if it comes to our heart, it is the best thing. And that is never an idolatry. Hallelujah. 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 Therefore, let us stand up. Let us stand up. Let us praise and worship and thank the Lord for giving so many models in the form of in the form of saints to Catholic Church. Let us praise and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Send your spirit, oh Lord our God, Holy Spirit, oh Lord our God, oh Lord our God. Praise the Lord. Lord. Ask the Lord to give the true knowledge about our God who is the only Savior. Amen. 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 feel the presence of Jesus amidst us. Lord Jesus, you are the only Savior who came into this world to save every human kind. You came to give life to the human race. And today, as we are here before you, Lord Jesus, help us to accept you as our Savior and Master. Oh Jesus, we know that we do not have any help from others. 
though we run after many people and things to get saved all the more we are ruined lord you came into this world to save us from sin to save us from sickness to remove our curses and today as we are here lord come into our hearts come into our home lord be our guide and master let us pray to the lord o oh jesus you come into my heart o oh jesus, jesus you are the only savior please let us praise and invoke jesus. his name and praise and praise hallelujah into my home into my home come in. Keep all your anxieties and worries to the Lord and give to the Lord, say to the Lord, Lord, come to our hearts and be our guide and we accept and admit that you are the only Savior. Let us raise the hands and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 